what's up everybody it's b baby 101 welcome back to my channel it has been a minute and i just can't say anything but life has been going on and i just been kind of rolling with the punches so as you could probably guess by this title this is going to be another complete hair review um i got such a good response from my first hair review from her imports that i decided to give you guys another one no actually i think that was my second one my first one was her hair company and this is a review of her hair company i'm gonna give you guys the breakdown the good the bad and the ugly okay are you ready i suggest you grab some popcorn because this is this is gonna be interesting let's get started <clears throat> okay you guys i'm gonna go ahead and get started um by saying that in no way in my passion this company i'm just giving you an honest review on customer service hair and everything and i even have the hair to show you so i ordered this hair i've been ordering from hair her, her hair company for years and her hair has usually last a long time like it's lasted so long i didn't have to buy all the time and i always get the same um texture which would be brazilian straight um and it just it feels so amazing so because of my experience with customer service and shipping and all that before i decided to do it again now let me tell you customers um i'm sorry shipping has always been pretty darn amazing they ship to you in two days um anytime i've ever had a question in the past it usually is answered promptly and i didn't have to wonder or guess or anything like that so let me just say that first that was my first experience so because i had such a great experience i decided to try them again and this time i got a different texture i ended up getting brazilian wavy and i got a 14 inch frontal uh 16 18 and 20 inch in uh, brazilian wavy now, when I first got the hair, I didn't. I got the hair in March, and I didn't install it right away. I waited for a while because my my hairstylist, she's booked, honey, because she's freaking awesome. So I decided to wait a little bit. So um, when I I didn't touch the hair, I left the hair in the pack. So I actually brought it to my hairdresser in the package, and I didn't touch it. I didn't do anything to it. So. Um, she's installing it and i was in a hurry i was actually going out of town so we didn't have time to she didn't even curl it like it was pretty in its natural state now i originally filmed an initial review for this hair which i will put some of the footage somewhere in this video i'm just surprised it was never uploaded because i uploaded that like a long time ago but whatever i did so this is my first time with the frontal so i told my um my hairstyle said, listen, my coworkers, they like to play. So I need this to be snatched and sitting correctly. I don't want them to say, hey, run the nice hair. Boom. And it slide right on off. I need some extra coverage in prayer. So she was like, okay. So she glued it down. Now I'm going to tell you, it looked amazing for the first few days. It looked amazing. It, it was wonderful. Um, I did experience a lot of shedding. Like it was... It was bad, and to say that my hairstylist, she didn't cut the wefts. Like, I can double check with her, but I'm pretty sure she didn't cut them because when I took them out, they were still whole pieces. So, she didn't cut them. So, I was like, this is a lot of shedding. But, you know, I'm not a complainer, really. I really try my best to see the good in all of everybody. So, I was really trying to see the greatness in the hair because it looked amazing for the first few days, as I said. But um, every time I brushed it, I started to save the hair because I would literally have to swoop the hair off of the floor when I was done brushing the hair. And I used the paddle brush. It wasn't um, like I was doing anything that I would normally do. And this was, sh this was shocking for me because I'm like, I've had their hair before. This does not happen. So I waited to reach out to the company because i wanted to see like if the hair was gonna get better if it was gonna get worse i wanted to know baby did it get worse so i'm gonna just show y'all the hair this is well now she might have cut she might have cut it because this isn't a whole piece but this is the hair like i hope it's focusing in on it like it's tangled tangly like see look at that 
Like I can't even, this is just a piece of the hair. And I'm bad. So this is the bundle. The bundle, the bundles were an issue because they were, like I said, tangling. But you know, I, I, I mean like the wave and everything was pretty good, but the ends, they, they looked and felt dry. So I didn't treat it. Of course, I really wanted to see like what was up. As for, cause my, my stylist told me to come back in seven days cause your lace is gonna come up, you're gonna need it to be retouched. So I was like, cool, do that, let's do that. So I came back to her, She and this is when she washed it, she took really, and it felt amazing after she really did what she did. And so she was like, you're gonna need another frontal. And I said, ah, no, I just bought this frontal. And these frontals are expensive, so no, nah, I can't buy just another one. Just I asked her, she said, there's so much shedding coming from your frontal that you're not going to make it a, a, a month if you don't get another one. So shortly after she said that, I kind of just waited, and sure enough, it got worse. Now, and I'm telling y'all, before I show y'all this frontal, I am not picking on her hair company because I love them. I just want y'all to be very aware of my experience. Because this is my experience. Everybody doesn't get the same experience. Because even with her imports, I read some of the comments that said that they had amazing experience. And that's all great and gravy, but I just didn't. When I tell y'all this is the frontal, I kid you not, nothing done. And this is, the hair is in the sunken place. You hear me? It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Not even can be awakened or nothing. Look at that. Look at that. So all of that shedding I was experiencing was coming from this frontal. It looks like somebody was just chopping at it. Like ridiculous. Like look at that. Man, literally less than a month. Less than a month. I had the hair for a while and I got so tired of it. I took took it out and put my um, KRS hair clippings that I've had for two years now. I think two years or maybe three years now. And they're still kicking. This did make it a month. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. Focus camera. So... At that point, I decided to reach out to the company. And it was an experience. Not necessarily a good one. Okay, so I reached out to the company and I had called them for days and they kept saying that um, there's no representatives available. So I was like, well, I'll call on Monday when I know they're open. When I finally got in contact with somebody, they were like, well, just send us pictures. At this time, the frontal was still in my head and I could only wear it one style. Like, I don't, and now looking at the frontal, I don't even know how I wore that style. I would wear it like uh, a part, um, like a side part with a deep, you know, wave. And at first it was really cute. And then I sent them the pictures, I emailed them back and I said, listen, I've sent you guys the pictures of the hair, whatever. I literally waited a week. A week, if I'm not mistaken, I can go back to emails. I waited a while before I contacted them back and told them, listen, I haven't heard from you guys. But I see them posting on Facebook and Instagram. So I really try not to get turned because, I mean, anything can happen. They're probably not doing it on purpose, right? So I comment under one of their, um, under one of their pictures on Instagram. And I was like, so, I've been emailing you guys and y'all haven't responded. So they replied and told me to DM them for concerns. And then the, and then my comment was there, right? So I DM them with my concerns and for like three days, I didn't hear from them. And I said, so y'all told me to DM you guys with my concerns and I'm concerned and y'all are not responding to my concerns. They deleted my comment and theirs so I felt some type of way. I was like, wow. You know, on Instagram, you can read when someone reads your message. So they sat there and read my message 
and didn't respond. Now let me tell you something. Like I said in my other videos, I'm a sucker for customer experience. The hair was bad enough, but if the experience had gone a bit better, I would have been real cool. It wasn't like I was gonna not tell y'all about that experience because I would, but I waited a long time before I even before I even making this video because I wanted to make sure I'm not tripping and get the best response that I can get. So, a couple of days pass. I'm DMing them like, wow, I've never had this experience with you guys. Anytime I've ever had a question, you guys answered it. Um, in a, a timely fashion, so I'm wondering why y'all are not picking up now. Or then when she started reading my messages, I said, "So you're reading? I don't know what's more disrespectful—the fact that I can't get a response, or that I know that you're reading my messages." That lit me up, y'all, because I'm like, "I see you, I see you seeing this, and you're not responding to it. What what kind of issue is that? Like." I pay for these and for the people that pay for the bundles. Now I understand there are tons of videos going around about her hair company and the hair is amazing. I don't know what happened with this. It just wasn't good. Um, so what made it worse was the experience that I was getting from them, right? So I called them, I called them, I left messages, I called them. So apparently they were trying to contact me, but I didn't get any of the messages that they were, um, they were leaving. Uh, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. So when I decided to post on Instagram, like blasting them, basically saying that this is my experience. I've spent money with you guys. I've spent money with you guys for years, and this is how you treat me. So after all this, all these, I was just, I was flabbergasted. I was just like. I've been spending money with you guys. I have talked great about you guys before. All I ever wanted to do was love you and, and, and you didn't want to love me back. And that lit my, they, that burnt my biscuits y'all in the oven. I was so upset. So I posted on Instagram and they commented and said, my general manager is calling you. I was like, it's funny. I just, I just, they was like, well, we've been trying to call you. I was like, I've, I just called y'all and no one picked the phone up. So, and so right then in there, I remember this cause I was eating a raspberry donut and it was amazing. Um, it was not like any other raspberry donut you have probably experienced. Remember it because I was in a different zone. Y'all yeah, was in a different zone with that donut. So I get a call and it, she's a sweet lady. Her name was Jocelyn. She was like, I've been trying to call you and I'm like, really? So at that point I go to my um my um voicemails and I see that she actually did leave a voicemail and I felt bad because it was like I didn't even know she called me. Like I didn't I didn't even look at the voicemails. Like I don't even get notifications when I give voicemails. So I mean like well there's that big red thing that says voicemails, but like 95% of that is from my dad, so I just never check it. So um she was like, well, tell me a bit what's going on. And I was telling her about the hair, but I was like, yo, I'm not really not even, like that ain't even the main issue. The main issue is whoever is running your social media was reading my comments and not responding to my comments. I didn't like that because I see you see it. So instead of not, I mean, even if, he, even if they didn't have an answer at that present time of what they wanted to do, even if they didn't have an answer, she should have at least said, thank you for reaching out. At this time, we're still working on it. You know that would have been an easy fix because I wouldn't have had an issue with that because at least I know you got what I was trying to say and you're addressing my issue. You're not just letting it ride and posting all the pictures of the, the rules and stuff and some of them bought them in a majority of them or PR and you send them hair and it's amazing but I bought this and this is this is what I get. This is what I get that I bought. So I'm upset because I did not sign up for this. Anyway, so she was like, well I definitely hear your frustration and what I can't replace the frontal. At that point, I didn't give a, I didn't care. Cause I was like, I don't want the frontal. I will never wear a frontal again. I think it low key took out some of my edges, but whatever. 
she still got something though. Hmm? So um, she was like, well, I can't see your frontal back, but I can see your bundles back. What, what do you want? At this time I said, I want to be clear. I didn't care about getting a refund. I didn't care about, like I wanted some resolve, obviously, but I mean, I wasn't in a bargain of getting free stuff, but technically ain't free because I paid for this and can't wear it. So she, I told her, listen, I'll just stick to what I got. I, I know and I know the straight and I know that shit is bomb. Look, honey, just send me, just send me the, um, the straight. At least I know that. This was last Friday uh, and it's Thursday. She was like, you'll get the hair on Monday. And it's Thursday. And I could be wrong. I didn't check with the front office, but they usually, they usually text me when I got a package and I haven't received anything and I checked the mail last night. So there's my experience in a nutshell. Now what I will say is, like I said in the beginning, it's no way in shape or form am I bashing them and I have her screenshots if we ever need to go there. Just saying, I keep, I'm keep i screenshot queen and I keep them all, you know what I'm saying? So I'm not bashing them because I still really like the company. The packaging is always cute. The hair has always been great and the customer service has been great. This has been just a terrible experience. Now, it would I would have never purchased hair from them ever again in life if I never heard from them again. But she did apologize, and it wasn't the same person running the social media. I don't know who she is, but do better. But like, uh, she she really did exactly what I wanted her to do, and that's all was to talk to me. That's it. Let's have a talk. Let's rap about this hair that I got that I paid for. That ain't what I thought it was gonna be. That didn't turn out what it looked like in the picture. Let's talk about that. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't hostile to her or anything. I think I got, I'm, I, I have a bit of an aggressive personality at some times, but I actually gave them a chance. It had been weeks and I have been waiting and waiting and waiting. And when I feel like you, and when I see you reading my messages, it makes me feel like I'm not as important as everybody else that you want to post, that you want to respond to, because you do all of that to get our money. So why not keep your customer happy? Because at the end of the day, you want to create lifelong customers. You know what I'm saying? If I, if all I knew was, I could try hair from over here. I could try hair from over here. But I knew for a fact if I went to her hair company, I would get what I was paying for. That's what you want to create. Like, oh, they might go around and try and shit and try and shit and it don't work. But they'll come back. And they always do. But you would have to be hitting the key factors that people are looking for. And that's why people really give reviews. And I'm always going to give you my honest opinion. And my sister hate it. But I always, 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 always give my honest opinion. And I'm never going to sit there and lie about some hair. Hmm. Okay, so that was my review for her hair company. I did um, put in some clips. Check out my previous video if you guys haven't had to lose 30 pounds in 30 days. And I wanted to tell you guys that I'm actually going back on that journey. I have some more um, Ultimate Body Talks. And like when I'm going through, I'm actually going to go to the gym in a few minutes. Um, so I got beat for nothing. Um, I'm going to go through my journey because I gained the weight back. But honestly, I don't know what's going on with my body that I ended up gaining the weight back. But it's cool because if you eat right, stay consistent, you'll see results. And that's what I've experienced and I know it works. Ultimate Body Tox works. You just have to be consistent at drinking your water and eating. And speaking of eating, I didn't even eat lunch today, so I'm not doing very good right now. So I'm going to go fix me something to eat before I have to go to the gym and work out this body. And I'm going to take you guys with me. I'm gonna have my trainer film and I'm gonna post every single day. That's gonna be my challenge for the summer. I'm going to make sure, because I have three months to snatch this body back because fall has to be my favorite season. So I am absolutely going to slay fall. Okay, slay. So I 
have to snatch his body first before I can go out there and snatch the world. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and film this next video for you guys. I really, really, really want to say thank you to everybody because I think the last time we talked, I was almost at 500 subscribers and now we're at 515. I know it may not seem like a lot, but I really appreciate it. I have been on YouTube for years and I haven't been very consistent with it. So this is one of those things that I had promised myself. Okay, when you get out of your busy zone and you can tell your story and not, you know, feel no type of way let's do that and keep it pushing because it's like therapy for me so um i'm just gonna have a ball with this and i'm gonna take you guys on my workouts and i'm gonna take you guys on my diet journey because a lot of people need to be encouraged hell i need to be encouraged and doing this will make me want to do that like filming it actually seeing results is gonna make me want to do it and i'll look back and i'll say damn I'm glad I did that. So it, it started with uh, it's simply Jackson, Jazz Jackson. Um, follow her on Instagram, by the way. She's freaking amazing. She's so gorgeous. But um, when she shared her journey, I was just like, she. And I always thought she was fine as wine, honey. I thought she was just yes, yeah, yeah. But she, she, she got her all slim thick going on, and I'm like. That could be you, but you eating these Twinkies. Nah, I don't eat Twinkies. Thank you to everyone that subscribed to me, and let's keep building together. And I promise not to disappear you guys again. I know y'all heard that before, but I promise not to go nowhere. And I'm rambling, so let me just cut the video. So yeah, that was my video. See you guys in my next video. Peace.